Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we are going to talk about the basic concepts of probability. In this lecture, we're going to describe an experiment, outcome, sample space, and event in the context of probability, examine an outcome, sample space, and sample point in a given probability experiment, and appreciate the importance of probability through citing situations in simple events. To start off, before we describe the technical terms related to probability, let us first know what we mean when we say probability. Probability is the chance that something will happen. Events cannot be predicted with total certainty. We can say how likely they are to happen. So when we say probability, it is the chance or possibility of an event to happen. Now, what is a probability experiment? So a probability experiment is a chance process that leads to a well-defined result called an outcome. So an example of a probability experiment is flipping a coin, rolling a die, picking a card from a deck of 52 cards, choosing a colored ball from a box, and drawing a ball in a lottery. So these activities best illustrates an experiment in a probability. Now what do we mean when we say outcome or an outcome of an experiment? So an outcome is the result of a single trial of an experiment. So when we say outcome, it is the possible result of our experiment. So for example, here we have an experiment and an outcome. Suppose we have an experiment of flipping a coin. So our outcome after flipping a coin could be either head or tail. Another experiment is rolling a die. So our outcome after rolling a die could be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So the head and tail and 1 to 6, this is what we call our outcome or the possible results of our experiment. Next is sample space. So when we say sample space, it is the set of all possible outcomes or sample points and it is usually denoted by the letter S. So when we say sample space, we are going to list down the entire possible outcome. And when we say sample point, it is just one of the possible outcomes. So let us have the examples. Here we have the experiment sample space and sample point for example we have here tossing two coins as our experiment if we toss two coins our sample space or the entire possible outcome will be heads 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 tails tail heads and tail tail and our sample point will then be one of the possible outcomes so for example here we have heads heads so for another experiment, here we have rolling a die. So our sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And for our sample point, we can put one of the outcomes. So for example, here we have 5. Another experiment is tossing a coin and rolling a die simultaneously. So if we are going to toss a coin, the possible outcomes are head and tail and when we roll a die the possible outcomes are one two six so our sample space when tossing a coin and rolling a die simultaneously will be head one head two head three head four head five head six tail one tail two tail three tail four tail five and tail six and for our sample point, one possible outcome can be 
For example, here we have T3 or tail 3. Lastly, another experiment is drawing a card from a deck of 52 cards. So a deck of 52 cards has 4 suits which are spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And each suit has 13 cards starting from the ace up to the king. So the entire possible outcome for our sample space is 13 spades, 13 hearts, 13 clubs, and 13 diamonds from ace to king. And our sample point could be, for example, here we have queen of hearts. Note that queen is not a sample point because there are four types of queens which are four different sample points in a deck of cards. So we really have to be specific. Okay, so another term we need to know is event. So when we say event, it is any set of one or more outcomes satisfying some given condition so in other words event is similar to an experiment but there is a specific condition given so for example here we have getting a ttt or three tails when flipping a coin thrice another example is choosing a queen from a deck of cards next is getting an odd number when rolling a die so here we have an activity. List the sample space for the following experiment. So instructed here is we need to list the entire possible outcome. So for number one, getting an even number in a single roll of die. So the sample space when rolling a die is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So what is asked is, getting an even number so the even number of the sample space when rolling a die is 2 4 and 6 which means 2 4 and 6 is our sample space of getting an even number in a single roll of die next number 2 picking odd number balls from a box with 15 balls numbered 1 to 15 so the sample space if there are no restrictions is 1 until 15 because there are 15 balls. But what is asked is picking odd number balls. So what are the odd numbers? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So which means this is our sample space of Picking odd number balls from a box with 15 balls numbered 1 to 15. Number 3, getting two heads when tossing a coin 3 times. So the sample space when tossing a coin 3 times is heads, 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 tail, heads, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail 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 head and tail 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 now what is asked is getting two heads when tossing a coin three times so in the sample space the one with two heads are hht or heads heads tail heads tail head and tail head head which means HHT, HTH, and THH is our sample space of getting two heads when tossing a coin three times. So now, let's summarize what we have learned about this lesson. So when we say probability, it is the chance that something will happen. Events cannot be predicted with total certainty. We can say how likely they are to happen. Next. Probability experiment is a chance process that leads to a well-defined result called an outcome. X outcome is the result of a single trial of an experiment. Next, sample space is the set of all possible outcomes or sample points. Next, sample point is just one of the possible outcomes. And lastly, event 
is any set of one or more outcomes satisfying some given condition. So hopefully this video was helpful and informative. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Enjoy learning mathematics and goodbye!